What's up, y'all? So, plans changed today. Something came up, so we couldn't go to the museum today. We'll probably uh, go tomorrow, but I just finished editing the um, vlog or what I could put together <laughs> for the vlog, and it's exporting right now, and I'll upload it whenever it's done. But I'm about to go and make this uh, taco soup. About to show y'all how it's done. Oh, let me look up the recipe before my phone cuts off. Um, okay. Let's see. You're supposed to put Paula Dean's taco soup. Yeah, I've been making this for years. And it is so delicious. I should literally, I should know how to make it by now. But, um, or like the, the ingredients, but I don't, I, you know. Let's see. All right, I need the... Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Brown the ground beef and onions. Okay, I knew that's what it was. I needed I just needed the beginning part. Um It wants me to put it in a slow cooker. I never put it in a slow cooker, y'all. I never put it in a slow cooker. I always um just put it in a regular pot. And, and brown my, I always do ground turkey, not ground beef. I um, brown my ground beef. Oh, I need to go and fall the beef. I mean the um, ground turkey. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. I guess I was about to, I thought I was about to make it right now, but I guess I'm not. I have to wait for the meat to um, dissolve. Anyway, so I'm going to holler at y'all. <laughs> Hey, to Jay <laughs> Come here. Come here. Ah, the way you're about to make me fall. Hey, what? You say hey to everybody. <laughs> Get on down the stairs. <laughs> y'all, he be going fast down the stairs. It's hilarious. What up, y'all? Say what's up to murder. I know he ain't been on here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, you know, a big portion of, uh, you know what, let me ask y'all something. Would y'all, whenever I um, clean up, would y'all like to see that? Because I know I see people cleaning up and they film it. Like, would y'all want to see something like that? Because, y'all, this kitchen was so ridiculous yesterday. Oh, my God. And, well, it's clean now, of course. But wait a minute now, who put these dishes in here? You know it's your turn next. Turn No, it's your turn next, turn buddy Ro. Oh yeah, it's your turn. Anyway, so all of this was cleaned up. This, these dishes just got here probably like last night or he just put that there. But yeah, y'all. Um, would y'all like to see that when I um, clean up? It, it would probably be in like, um, like, uh, I'd like speed it up or whatever, but let me know if y'all want to see that. I'm about to, can you get the, you see how I, <laughs> why do you put all the meat in the deep freezer and not in that freezer? Like there's plenty of room in that freezer. I don't know, cause these bags, they just like repelling to me. Huh? Why did you put the bags in there with it? What? Why did you leave the bags? I bring the bags home with this in there and you put them in oh, the- Oh, I slang that in the bag? Yeah, why? Because I like to do it like that. Anyway, <laughs> can you put this in water? That's how it unthaws. I'm not just gonna... Anyway. So these are some of the ingredients. And I'm- And y'all, just like I said, you can look the recipe up and just, um, 
put in Paula Dean's taco soup and you'll find the recipe. Two cans of those. This is this. That. And those. It don't have to be no type of brand or anything like that. I'm going to use two packs of this taco gluten free taco seasoning. And I hope this don't have gluten in it. It doesn't say gluten free though. It says it has milk and soy in it. What is monosodium glutamate? I'm going to look that up. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it doesn't say gluten free on here though. But I know that ranch, most ranches are gluten free. I'm about to look that glutamate up. Anyway, so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop my onions right now while that is unthawing and just leave the onions, you know, out until that is ready. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to holler at y'all when I start cooking. Oh, and this, you have to dang near wash the daggone dishes before you put them in there. Yeah, you gotta rinse all the food off of I mean, you, and you need to, like, if there's grease, you gotta get all of that off, so that, that means that you have to wash it. Really? I just don't see what the, you know, we need a better dishwasher. Because I know some people put dishes with food in you, you the dish. The pot, you take the pot scrubber with some warm water, and you can just knock all of the food off the dishes and toss them in there real quick. You ain't got to worry about washing the grease and grime off of it with a rag. Yeah. But I've gotten dishes out of there with grease on them still. But yes, people have been putting this in here with food in it. What is, what is this? I don't know what that... Oh! Oh, when before I started washing the dishes, this, uh, Bulea had put a pot in there that had all kind of burnt stuff in it. It looked like somebody had made some... That's what it is. Eggs or something. I know. That's what I was telling you. <laughs> Anyway, look at this. I know that that is not. I gotta holler at somebody real quick. <laughs> what is that? What you think it is? I bought that to make gravy with. Is yeah. that the red wine? Yes, it is. I bought that to make gravy with. Really? I like yes. to make common chairs with it. <laughs> oh, 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 Straight oh, off. oh, 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 oh. I'm about to go give my opinion on the Black Ops 4 baby. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, it just came out? That's Haven't you been waiting for that for the longest? That's what I was doing this weekend. Oh, so it finally came out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, when are you going to be ready to uh, do the video? Are you going to be doing that for a long time? Or what? It'll probably take me a grand total of about two hours. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was trying to let Jaden say hi to y'all, but Jaden didn't want to be on the camera. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to holler at y'all. Hey, this got the rice wasn't that bad. What's this? Uh huh. The oh, yellow rice. Are these green peppers? Those are peppers, like green okay, onions yeah. or something like that. I like this. Yeah, y'all, I made this last night. I didn't even show y'all this, y'all. I made some yellow rice and some vegetables on the side, and that is what I ate. That's all I ate, <laughs> and it was good. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not all I ate. Uh, I didn't take y'all with me when I stopped at the <laughs> when I stopped at the cupcake place yesterday. <laughs> he ate my cupcake. You, it gave you made you sick last night. Didn't that cupcake make you sick? I last guess night? it did. Y'all, your girl got glutenized uh, last night. I guess 
You know I was just kidding. They don't have a gluten-free kitchen, so I guess maybe flour. some flour got in there with the gluten-free cupcakes. Anyway, I went to Small Cakes is what it's called. They have these beautiful boxes. Y'all seen this before. And I had got um, the lemon cupcake, and I got this cupcake, and I had got another cupcake. Mersho ate Ooh, it was the, the sprinkles. chocolate it was one. So, it wasn't chocolate, though. The icing was chocolate. No, it wasn't. It I wasn't? thought it was, too. Uh -uh. Oh, what was it? It had a bunch of sprinkles on top of some like white icing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is a, on top of some white. Oh, what, what was the cake, though? The cake was white? White cake. So, uh, this. so this is a white cake with like uh, pink icing with pink sprinkles anyway that's strawberry though um so yeah went by there and um last night after i ate my little dinner i had a cupcake and y'all i woke up this morning oh my god like <sighs> yeah i got glutenized so um, and you can special order cupcakes there. So next time I get some, I'm not going to get the ones that's sitting up there next time. I'm just going to special order mine and ask, could they be very, very careful with how they're making them? You know, so, um, they're a small business, so I'm sure, you know, they'll be accommodating. But anyway, yeah, that's the tea. I actually wasn't even going to tell y'all that. I actually had forgot about it. I don't know how I did because, oh my God, whoo, that was something else. But I'm ready to have this daggone taco soup today, y'all, with these daggone meat chips. Oh, let me show y'all the rice, the yellow rice that I used, I mean, that I made last night. It's this right here, Zatarain's. Yellow rice with broccoli, but I made this one. I got that one. And I got this one. I made that one last night. It was so good, y'all. I love yellow rice. It is delicious, y'all. This pantry is a full. It needs to be organized. People just putting stuff up there. Like, anyway. So, I'm going to holler at y'all a little bit later. Yeah. These drinks are not good they're not sweet at all i thought they would have some type of sweetness to it but no i would never buy these again it has a hint of the flavor that's on there but it's just not i don't know if you like water that has a flavor but no type of sweetness to it you'll like it hey tinker putter okay give me a cup give it to me all right y'all so we are chopping up two uh, two cups of yellow onion.
I think this might be a little more than two cups, but you can never have enough onion. I love onion. And it doesn't call for garlic, but I'm going to put some minced garlic in mine. Yeah, this is, I think this is about two cups right here. So, I'm not going to, I'm not going to chop this one. Okay, that's, so I used uh, two small onions and I only used one and a half of them. Just one and a half small onion. All right, now you're going to get your two pounds of either ground beef or uh, ground turkey. And you put it all in a pan and you're going to brown it all together. And I'm going to put like a couple teaspoons of uh, minced garlic in mine. All right, y'all, this is the pot that I'm using. This is like a little bigger than what I wanted to use, but the other one is being used right now. So, I'm going to use one pot for everything. For the sauce, for the browning of the meat and the onions. And then I'm going to just dump everything in there after I um, drain the meat after I brown it. All right? So, that's how big of a pot I'm using. All right, so I put the onions and the meat in. And I actually just went ahead and used all three pounds because why not? All right, y'all. So now we are ready to drain. All right, so now we're drained. And I just put the garlic in. I should have put the garlic in when I was uh, browning it, but it don't matter. Um, I put like three tablespoons in there along with some garlic juice. And now I'm going to put everything else in this pot and just let it cook. All right, y'all, so the recipe calls for two cans of um, just pinto beans, but y'all know I got to be extra. And I got the ones with jal <gasps> No! Jalapeno and bacon! Y'all, thank God we had some regular pinto beans. <sighs> that would have been a disaster. Anyway, okay, so this is everything in the pot. And now I'm just gonna add some uh, water to it. So it can cook for some time. And it be a soup, you know. You can season it if you want to, but I've come to find out that if this is enough seasoning already. You can add two packs to that taco seasoning if you want to. I added one, I think I'm gonna go and get another one. But you're just going to let that simmer and let all of the ingredients melt together. All right? Melt, meld, whatever you want to call it. Yum. All right, y'all, change your mind. <laughs> I added some of my Louisiana Cajun seasoning and I added some of this garlic powder with parsley. Yum. I may add some green onions too. I know after it's done you add green onions on top um but i think i'm gonna add some for inside of the uh, soup all right y'all that's what it looks like so pretty with those little green onions in there i use half a uh, stock like half a bunch of green onions and put them in there and i'm going to use the other half and put them on top with some sour cream oh and you can use cilantro leaves too y'all i totally forgot to get it from the store i wish i would have because it gives it a like a fresher taste but yeah, so we're just gonna use green onion. I usually use, use the green onions and the cilantro. Y'all, I forgot to put the corn in. Don't forget to put, um, it says a can of corn, but I got some fresh corn. Cause I like the taste of fresh corn. Oh, um, well fresh, <laughs> meaning frozen. I'm about to put that in there. I probably only need half of this bag, but mm, we'll see. This is why you should have kitchen scissors or shears, whatever. 
Let me gauge and see. And this is super sweet corn, y'all. Super sweet. Super sweet corn. Let's see. Okay, I think that's enough. I left like that much. I used a little more than half. Y'all yeah, smells so freaking good. Oh my god. Take one more look. And we're gonna leave it alone. It's even prettier now with the corn. And I love corn, y'all. I love it. Yummers. We're gonna dip with these uh, Frito scoops. You can eat it just like a soup if you want to, but I like to eat it like a dip. And we're gonna eat it with these, or you can eat it with tortilla chips. The on the border tortilla chips. Delicious, y'all. They're delicious. I went ahead and poured the rest of the corn in there, y'all. It didn't make no sense for me to put that little bit of corn back into the freezer. Freaking yum, y'all. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> oh my god. Let me know in the comments if y'all have ever um tried this recipe because i made it before i i don't know if i made it uh on my channel i know i ate it but i don't know if i made it that rhymes <laughs> um but let me know if you've ever tried it just from you know knowing it from paula dean or if you like tried it from my video let me know yummy y'all it's about ready i just finished my um Makeup. Mm. Come on, let me see it. I'm trying to get a nice close up. And if you want to bite it, you can. so good anyway so this is me just my natural makeup that I always wear uh, I'm just gonna throw on a sweater y'all it's actually cold in my house like y'all have y'all been here like I don't know if y'all watch a uh, vlog what well, other vlogs obviously y'all watch vlogs um but it's a lot of people's air conditioners that are out like oh my god I feel like if we were still in Bryan we would be going through the same thing like a lot of people's air conditioners are going out i think it's because it's like too hot outside and i don't know if could that be a reason that it's too hot outside and the air can't keep up or something i don't know but i know a lot of people that i watch that vlog um their air is out and it's you know one um couple that i watch um lily and grams their air has been out for three days i believe um I haven't watched their latest vlog to find out if the air conditioning man uh, came and fixed it. But, yeah, they over there hot as I don't know what. Y'all, I just remember the times. And, like, it's so weird because it's cold over here. You know what I'm saying? We had a little bout with the air not working over here. Um, but I believe it was just the old unit or something. I'm not sure. But, yeah, y'all, it be cold. <laughs> and I'm so thankful and happy about that. Like, I just get under the covers or I put my robe on or I put a jacket on, you know, and just <sighs> bask in the coolness, y'all. Anyway, so I'm about to go and finish getting dressed and wait for Murder Show to finish his video because he's uh, putting together a video. He has to put it out. And yeah, I'm just going to leave this on simmer while I'm waiting on him. Yes, y'all. Ooh, I can't wait. Yes! Y'all, I'm about to have Murder Show taste this. Um, fav oh, my God. Trisha's favorite freaking drink, y'all. Hmm. Taste it. What is that? It's LaCroix French. or LaCroix. 
It's what kind is it? Peach pear. Tastes like she, water. Exactly. She be making that look so good when she drinks it. Oh my gosh. She said she loves them. I mean, you know, if you want to drink water with a spice to it, I guess it's better than water. But if you're thinking it's going to be a peach drink, no, that's not a peach Absolutely drink. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's just some... It's not going to be a peach or a pear. <laughs> I mean, it's like flavored, peach. though. It, it tastes is like a flavored. peach kissed it. Like, you know, a whole peach may be soaked in there for about And there's hours. absolutely no sugar, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, no sugar, y'all. Actually, I think it may be a little good if sugar is added to this. Like... Bruh, don't buy that. Do not waste your money on that. Yeah. Mm -mm. I almost spit it out. Did, it tastes really? like a watered down drink. Like if you get a drink and like the ice melt in it, and then you come back to hit it, and you're like, that's oh, exactly it's what it like. That's like a hell of water. Oh my drink. god, y'all! Please don't go back. Like, this the soda machine break. You have to take this back. Do not. Do not. <laughs> okay, you can't believe everything everybody say. Just like when some of y'all go and try stuff that I like. You might not like it, you know what I'm saying? But I do not like this drink, but I'm glad I tried it though. LaCroix. LaCroix? LaCroix. LaCroix? Yeah, that's French. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Come on. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Get off the floor. Get off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, give me them feet. <laughs> Rico, and for people that don't know what the Rico Act is, racketeering influence and corrupt organizations. Now, for me, of course, I don't know how long this particular investigation been going on. It's crazy that after he get killed and this indictment goes through and these three people are arrested. He's quote unquote named now the leader of this particular game. And to keep it firmly with you, if you got two or three toes in the street and you the breadwinner, you making rap money and stuff like that, nine times out of the team, you always gonna get the finger pointed at you. Anyway, that you so we are done with the video. And now I'm about to just take care of some business that I have to take care of online. And, um, yeah, I do believe this is probably going to be the end of the video. I don't know. Maybe I'll get back on here later. Yeah. Anyway, let me take care of this business first, and then I'm going to holler back. Hey, vlog. What's up, y'all? That's Leia on the... Leia, show me your face. I can't. Oh, my God. Y'all, look at what... <laughs> look at what Jaden did. He barricaded my door. <laughs> let me see Jaden. It's so funny. Look at Jaden. Look at this, Leia. You see that? He barricaded my door. <laughs> There's my. Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm going to be back because she got to ask her daddy something. Let me see Jaden. There he is. He's daddy. playing with his toy. Mm -hmm. Hey, bud. Hey, Jaden. This is sister on the phone, buddy. Oh, he putting together his little. Hey, Bobby. His little Bobby. dilly. Hey, Why Bobby. is he shorts on the phone? Hey, Jaden. Yeah, Jaden, get those up and put them in the, uh, in the, what, are these dirty? Hey, Jaden. Jaden, your sister want to talk to you, but why are you running away? Because you barricaded my door. <laughs> you barricaded my door. <laughs> Silly boy. Stop barricading mama's door. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> question for y'all i need y'all to answer me in the comment section do y'all think that a girl or a guy can have a girl as a friend or a, a guy as a friend do you think that that can happen because i think it can because i used to have a guy that was a friend but he died in a motorcycle accident but like can girls have guys as friends let me know or can guys have girls as friends let me know. What you think, murder show? I know you heard me. Huh? You think guys can have girls as friends? 
Or can you, do you think girls can have guys as friends? Do you think that that could happen? Only if somebody is extremely unattractive, you know. So like if some butt ugly girl like your next door neighbor, yeah, you probably could be friends with her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you can't. Somebody that you think is unattractive, okay. Yeah, and a boyfriend. Other than that, you don't think that people can be just friends? A boy frankly. who just so-called, oh, I'm just friends. He just waiting for his opportunity to strike. He just waiting. No, mm -hmm. please, the fuck out of here with that shit. What about girls? I mean, what about guys? What about guys? Wait, no. <laughs> I'm telling you from a man's perspective. Okay. There's no such thing as, oh, she's just my friend, unless something wrong with her. If she cute, then you just ain't got there yet. You just a slow roller. You ended up in the friend zone. You, you know, you ain't know how to uh, come harder than that. So you just a friend right now. So you think that goes the same way for girls? I, I, I can't speak for girls. Like I say, if maybe if a girl is unattractive, so unattractive people can be friends. Ain't no such thing as a boy and a girl that's friends and they are attractive, attracted to each other, or whatever. You know. Do you have to cuss no, with it? God, saying. no! I'm just saying. <laughs> at the end of the day, boys want one thing. Some of them is better at getting it than other ones. Some of them is straightforward and some of them are always ending up in the friend zone. <laughs> that doesn't make somebody innocent because oh, he appears it. to be a friend. No, he's just weak. Okay. Oh, Jaden, you barely hit the tap. Oh. <laughs> Tickled. It's his favorite day, <laughs> thing. 